Hello, it's Oxford v Scunthorpe United from the Cassium Stadium. And it is pouring cats and dogs on March the 30th. Good Friday, plenty of good life football coming up today. Now just need to get things working. Oh. Hey, Scunthorpe having a good season. They're in the playoffs and the teams line up. Hampton and Richmond is deadly now for getting three goals whilst he was there. Scott Hulk in that change colours today. One player missing with the all green sent off shirts. Tony was at Wigan in the earlier part of the season and actually played in Wigan's 7 0 win at Oxford at the end of last year. So Darren Drysdale had to get us underway. Oxford United kicking from right to left in this opening half and in the opening seconds we can see this could be quite a feisty encounter as two teams look to impress the new man in the hot seat. So Oxford have won in their last eight games. So new manager Carl Robson looking for a victory. Leaving all the palaver at Charlton Athletic. And they're still looking for who's going to buy the club out as it's scumped up with a corner. Ooh, good punch from the keeper, another chance, and that goes into the stands. So, first opportunity falling to Scunthorpe. Scunthorpe do have one of the smallest budgets in League One, but somehow they're in the playoffs. Three points behind Rotherham United, two points clear of Peterborough United. And Plymouth Argyle. Long kick. Heads up. Could there be a chance here for Oxford? Not really. That's a throw in. And we unable to get there. It is worrying times for Oxford United. We were the last gasp push for promotion. The moment was that Oxford are going for a last gasp push towards the trapdoor. They're going to go for a long throw. No, nope. but Oxford could have a chance. And that'll be another throw in this time to Scunthorpe. There's a free kick now to Scunthorpe and Brannigan wasn't too happy. Bit of afters. Well, Brannigan is holding on to his man and Holmes wasn't too happy. Well, luckily comes to nothing and Oxford clear the ball down their left side. 
towards the no stand which is still just the car park there's a massive story behind the Kazma Stadium Building Works started 20 years ago and then health was halted for a good five six years it's a good ball over the right now uh, Eastwood roll, rolls it out and Oxford lose it and that's going to be a throw into the Oxford because Oxford used to play at the manor ground a very very lovely ground from the past <laughs> Consisting of about five different stands. The man of ground is now a hospital. Scunthorpe, of course, were one of the first teams post Taylor report to move to a new stadium, Glanford Park. Moving out of the old showground, which I believe now is a Morrison supermarket. As the ball's in the middle of the park with Oxford. Oxford going down the right side, but that will go all the way back to Gilts in the goal, wearing the old purple for Scunthorpe. Nick Dawes played for a few teams. Rotherham. I think more popular for playing for Rotherham United. Also played for Berry. He's been manager for two years. Well, looks to do pass the ball around nicely. Just wide of the post there. Oh, Jordan Clark could have maybe got that on target. Ball comes in. That's a poor, easily dealt with by Scunny. Ball still with Oxford. Smith Brown plays it over. And a few technical issues here. And the old gremlins have already got hold of the match, which is no good to me. Oh, what is going on here? God's hell. So we we got the stop and start today. <laughs> Game is still nil nil after eight minutes. Could be a chance here for Scunny. But Townsend's shot was blocked. Thank <laughs> you. 
I think it'd be that difficult to get an Oxford Scunthorpe game on. Oh, get lost with the adverts. Son off. Now we're going to get rid of this advert. When... Holmes, was he failed? I don't know. Can't see anything properly. Come on. Hey, the pace is good. If we can get a decent, decent bit of footage. Oh, come on. Oh, that's no good, is it? Offline. Adverts will have the football on in a minute. Oh, come on. Hopefully, now the game will be solid now for the rest of the match. The ball is with Scunthorpe. Can Holmes control it? Rob. Takes a shot, and that is wide of the right side post. Tell me, he's got some nice pace. Ooh, I don't think that's a foul. Well, from the angle, still no got the ball first. But at the moment, Scunthorpe looking the better team. We've had two thumbs up, thank you very much. Scunthorpe really coming with the pace, bowling. And Tony makes it 1-0 to the Scunny. So it only took Scunthorpe 11 minutes to take the lead. Poked in right at the left post. It wasn't great defending that from Oxford United. Well, they lose the ball, referred in the middle of the park, spread to the left. Uh, overlapping run, ball comes in, and the keeper should be holding on to that. Oh, that is poor. Eastwood should grab it, but he lets it go, and Tony comes in and pokes it home. So, 1 0 to the Scunny. So I think the goalkeeper's at fault for the first goal. A very easy goal indeed for Tony. He won't score many easier than that. Still having troubles at the moment, still technical issues. And there's been a yellow card for Oxford. Yeah, one nil to the Oxford. 
I mean, one nil to the Scunthorpe, having problem with the streams. And we have another moron in the stream asking for game footage, who needs to learn how to read. And Ryan Ledson has been booked as the stream sides to play Stop and Start, which is no good to me. I don't know. Plenty of streams are just getting them working. Let's give it a, oh, I don't know what's up with all the streams. Anyway, thank you to everybody for joining. Get lost. Hopefully this will be a better stream. One into the scunny. Ivan Tony, third goal in the last four games. That's actually good form with Scunthorpe being in the playoffs. So the goal there was on 11 minutes 41. Ooh, that's a nasty challenge there from Ledson. Oh, that's a late one on Ojo. Could have been... Could have been sent off there. Oh, it's not working. So no, oh, I can't use that stream. Having absolute troubles here. Oh. I can. Is this? Now on sixteen minutes played. Oh, come on, strange. Could it be scumped up on the attack again? Boggum's in from the right. And that goes out for a corner. Boss, no, nothing there. Oh. <laughs> and that was scumped up with the throw in. Ball goes in the box. And that go all the way back to East in goal. 70 minutes gone. We have a Tottenham fan who seems to be a big fan of the Oxford. They are 1 0 behind. And they're on some absolutely wretched form at the moment. Only two wins in 2018. As Smith Brown goes all the way back to Eastwood in the goal. A stream that works would be nice. The people doing the stream need to wake up a bit. As Oxford have the bowl in the middle. Rothwell. Ledson plays it through. Thomas. And Napa only finds a Scunthorpe man. Morris now running up the right for Scunny. There's a lot of pace in that Scunthorpe team. Oh. 
Morris. Lewis gets it away, headed away. To Morris now back with the cross, headed away. Could be another chance there for Scunthorpe. That goes just wide of the left post. But the stream is definitely not on our side. I don't know who's putting these streams up. There's no action. They're all just... What's the point of putting a stream up if there's nothing, if it's just going to stop and start? So, not having much success so far with our first match of the day. Twenty minutes played. Hopefully, and this ad will close in God knows how long. But it's at the moment. Oxford on the ball in their own half. Scunthorpe now still got the ball. Oxford will definitely lose the ball play through. And that just goes through to Eastwood. And he gathers that up this time. I've got to say, Ox they are Oxford looking in a lot of trouble at the moment. Oxford just six points clear of Oldham Athletic and Northampton Town minus five. Me, middle of the park now for Scunthorpe. Good pass to Morrison. Ooh. These would was beyond that shot. A little bit too easy at the moment for Scunthorpe. Throwing on halfway line to Oxford. Now if this stream holds up, which it is at the moment, I've got to say Scunthorpe have got some pace. No, every time, every time Oxford lose the ball in their own half, Scunthorpe was straight up there. And that'll be a corner. So, corner going to come in from the right side for, for Oxford United. The Oxford coming back for one nil def a two nil defeat at Portsmouth ball comes in and Matt Gilt Well Oxford at the moment kicking towards the car park part of the ground that part still not being redeveloped into the fourth stand. Ball put through. Holmes. Ooh, and Tony hits the post. And that's a corner for Scunthorpe. Ooh, that was close. And there was Kane to knock it out for a corner. Oxford on the ropes at the moment. Attempts three for Oxford, eight for Scunthorpe. But it's three on target for Scunthorpe. Is this going to be nothing? 
Ich ist das zwei Win. Cause next week is the checkertrade.com final as Clark takes this throw in for Scunthorpe. Morris headed out. Delegan A wins another corner. Another corner coming in. They're, they're really starting to stretch Oxford United. The corner comes in. Ooh! Again, he hits the post again. And how Oxford are 1 0 down is a bit of a mystery at the moment. Player down for Oxford. Thinking there was a penalty for Scunthorpe. Oh, that is definitely handball. That's a penalty. Ox. I think if the ref sees that, it's a penalty and a red card. Denying a goal scoring opportunity. Shouldn't be too hard for VR. Well, Carl Robson trying to sur trying to get his troops back together. It's been a disastrous 26 minutes for Oxford. The referee is Darren Drysdale. 39 yellow cards and two red cards this season. Two one win to the Oxford United. The way the way Oxford are playing, I can't really see them scoring. Alex Moyer, Alex Moat misses the penalty, then gets himself sent off, reacting to Thomas's goading, and he's sitting in the stands. He's on a three-match ban. Well, I don't think the Scunthorpe players realised it was a handball. Drop ball. Up to 27 minutes now played. Drop ball, Ledson. Already on a yellow card. And Ledson just kicks it out for a throw in to Scunthorpe. Time going quick. I'm taking quick, headed by, headed again, another header. And it's Scunthorpe, looks like they're going to come away with it. Got to be careful here, Oxford. Luckily, that's gone into the main stand. There's a new owner, Tagger. Try pronouncing that name, the new chairman of Oxford United. As Oxford are on the ball, need to show more urgency. They're coming down the left side. Ball played in the box. That is kicked out. And that'll be felt for a throw into Oxford. Uh, 
And now go out for throwing to Scunny. So for pretty comfortable for the iron. Townsend booting it far. A nice header in there. Tony plays a ball and now go all the way through the eastward. Rolled out very quickly. And Brown plays it in. Uh, he couldn't control it and that's a free kick. Well, you've got some good players, Scully, Holmes, Townsend. Tony, pretty decent players there in League One. That's a long ball played into the box. Oh, it's poor defending that from. Oh, Delican plays it through. Could be two. Oh, should have been a second. Don't know how that wasn't 2 0. He's Mr. Sitter. Oh, I think Tony should have been there first and scored that goal. Can't believe that Tony Dean just. Berry into the right corner. And here comes Scunthorpe again. Back to Holmes. Holmes was kicked out. Henry tries to Makana. Scunthorpe dominating possession. Roman Alexander used to play for Preston North End. Delican, what a beautiful nutmeg. Puts the ball in. Ooh, that's lovely skill. Give it a dicky. I don't know, was that a good a good a good fly in there from Dicky or should Tony have got there first of the bowl? There was a foul on Napa. Free kick to the Oxford. Ball chipped into the box, and that should be dealt with quite easily by Scunthorpe. Headed back in, lot of head tennis now. And that'll be cleared up the field. And now the referee decides to give a free kick to Scunthorpe. And it's to Nottingham Forest Loney who is down for Scunthorpe. Rothwell there using his arm there. Twelve thirty Arsenal play Stoke. Stoke look all but down. And Chelsea can Tottenham get that first ever victory at the bridge since nineteen ninety. And that's a stupid foul. And Rothwell commits another foul and this time he gets booked. Now we could be in a good position. Ow. Caught him spot on there. A little bit of argy bargy. Let's and getting involved and he's already booked on OJ. So Joe Rothwell being booked for Oxford United. Oh, 
Drysdale give another book in. Oh, play it down now for the Scunthorpe. Another yellow card for Oxford. That's a three. It's pretty obvious what Oxford what Oxford have. The major issue with Oxford, I think, is discipline. Three bookings in the first half is not good. Of course, they got that red card on Sunday. Morris, number 11 there, hobbling a bit. That was a horrible challenge. Morris is a very good player. So, a bit out this um, free kick on the left side. Straight in onto the heads. Bobbed in there quick. And Oxford kind of deal with it. Ojo. Morrison. Oh, good ball play through. Delicant to Morris. Could be... Oh, nearly a goal. But luckily, Dickie was on the line just to clear it. A good win from Oxford. We never had a Tottenham Hotspur fan really cheering on Oxford as they give away a throw in at least from Dickey. Good Dickey's not a bad defender. Head Ooh just off the knee and Dickey then boots it up the pitch. Good defending. Thirty six minutes played. Oh, they do play some nice stuff, Scunthorpe. They do close Oxford down very quickly. It doesn't take long for Scunthorpe to get the ball back. As Oxford try to break. At least string some passes together. A one or three kick out on the right. Which Naya Appa will take. It's an interesting game, this. And they've lost it. Smith Brown. Long ball played out on the right side. But they'll be headed back up by Scunthorpe. A lot of headers now. Scunthorpe don't look nervous in their own half. Oh, what can Oxford do here? Ledson. Oh, that comes. That is useless. Good pass from Tony. Here comes Dwayne Holmes. Is he going to shoot for goal? Oh, straight to the arms of Eastwood. Good shot, though. Common Oxley United versus Script. <laughs> That's a good shot. Uh, Eastwood's got that right side post covered. He's got the post covered. When oh, almost took that shot. So it's Good Friday. Lots of life football. Just the way we like it. And that's going to be... No, still with Oxford. The team in yellow. No, they're giving away a free kick. 
Oh, Nepa, the one giving the free kick away there. And we So the free kick taken And now go out for throw in to the Oxford So So Scunthorpe team to avoid in the playoffs with Peterborough and Rotherham United but they will be joined by maybe Wigan Athletic, Shrewsbury or Blackburn. There's the three battling for the automatic promotions. So in many ways you could say League One looks like it's going corn the plan, but Shrewsbury are there really succeeding expectations. I can't keep saying I thought they were heading down the league. But looks like they could be moving up a league. Their first promotion into the second year since 1979. And they stayed there for 10 years. Relegated in 89. And that will be a free kick. To the Oxford. Oh, it's been a long time since Oxford were in the... Um, Second tier of English football 20 years ago, they were relegated. And since then, they've dropped down to League Two out of the Football League. Ball comes in. This is a chance now for. Oh, it misses everybody. But it came off Tony, so it's a corner to the Oxford. Cause Oxford straight enough where relegated out of the non league and replaced by the team they replaced. Back in the 60s, Accrington Stanley. Ball in there. Uh, Matt Jiltz gets hold of that. Is he going to throw it out quick? No, Matt Jiltz goes for the long kick. Heads up. Oxford there first, but only Henny back to Scunthorpe. And Scunthorpe do know how to play those passes going down the left side. Ooh! Tony offside. And there wasn't much he could have done there anyway. It's a quick ball played out on the left. Good control. And the left back Wallace, oh, just offside. So good play there from the winger and the left back. And there's the throw in. Well, Scunthorpe using the wide areas very well indeed. And Oxford just can't deal with that situation at the moment. Heads up. Into the middle, once again it's fallen to Scunthorpe. They are panicking, Oxford, even though they got the ball in their own half. Back to Eastwood. And he'll hammer that ball down the pitch. And who's going to get there first? Looks like it's going to be Oxford. But OJ taking control now. And here, here comes Scunthorpe again. Is Morris going to go for goal? Overlap and wins a corner. Oxford United, Oxford United sit raw. 
Although at the moment they're not in this game at the moment, but they're only one nil down, nearly up to half time. Been a very, very good game. One minute of injury time. Here comes the corner. Ball comes in. Ooh, head of the cross goal. Is this going to be... Ooh. Should have been 2-0. I don't know how he missed it. Just wide of the right post. Head of the cross goal. Uh, Wallace is not a striker. Oh, Wallace should have scored. Four minutes of injury time. Now we'll go back to Eastwood. Eastwood looked like he was going to roll it out. Yep, he's rolled it out. Smith Brown. So we'll have to find some answers to Scunthorpe. Definitely on top, looking like they're going to get all three points. And the ball is now with Scunthorpe again. Ball played through, and Eastwood gets there first. It's a great one there from Morris through the central midfield. Maybe Oxford could get a surprise equaliser. No, they've lost the ball, but they've got it back in their own half. The ball looped all the way over. And that's going to be a throw-in to Scunthorpe on their right side. Carl Robson got to find some answers. The former Charlton and MK Dons manager. Long throw taken, comes to a... Here comes a Delican. Just passing the ball around. The a long ball played all the way over to number two. Cross coming in. No. Yates spreads it. Uh, just passing the ball around. Yates. Oh, could this be a good pass through? Ah, oh, Holmes can't get through. But Delegan wins the ball back. Ball played in from Wallace. Oh, good control there from Holmes. Is he going to shoot for goal? Oh, is this going to be 2-0? Oh, oh, the whistle's gone. <coughs> Great strike from a Delegan. Oh, yeah, he's offside. <coughs> <coughs> Been a really, really good half. Oh, well, that was half time then. Oh, what a decent game. Oh, yeah, no possession in their own half, Oxford. It's all been in their half, and Scunthorpe are dominating this game. Well, I get a feeling Scunthorpe will definitely get a second goal. It looks like a Scunthorpe win. 
But football is a game of two halves. I'll be back for the second half. Well, Oxford United are out and I think they're ready to go. And there is Scunthorpe just come out of the tunnel looking relaxed and comfortable. But it's only 1-0 and it can be a game of two halves. And Scunthorpe the kick off. So it'll be Oxford now kicking towards the car park. Come on referee, time to get this match on the way. And Drysdale, what are you waiting for? Blow your whistle. Game on. And it's Scunthorpe on the ball. Never understood why they changed the um, kickoff bit. A player has to pass it to a player, but that is now in the past. There's Scunthorpe coming forward with number three, trying to play the ball down that left. And there'll be a throw in to the Oxford. But Scunthorpe still looking sharp, still looking quick. They're getting first of nearly all the balls, but it could be a chance. Shoot! It could. Oh, well. At least Oxford tried. Well, it was a good shot that from Henry. Henry only finding the arms of Matt Jilks. I believe James Henry gave it a go. Is that a handball? Oh, did John Rossinio handball it? We'll find out when they show us the replay. No changes by either team. Still the same teams as Scunthorpe player bowling. Can Townsend get it? And that'll be a free kick. Did Orsinio handball? Yeah, I mean, that's a penalty. Well, Zeno uses his arm to move the ball there. That is a Stonewell penalty and a booking. Accidental, that wasn't. As Scunthorpe come forward. Ivan Tony coming forward. Right for Oxford going down that middle, they're gonna try now back out on the left. Massinio. trying to get the ball. Ooh, ball hoofed up by Scunthorpe. Ojo. A long ball being booted down the middle of the park. Finds an Oxford head. Can Oxford control? Uh, Rothwell wins a free kick and Holmes committing the foul there. According to the referee, Drysdale. How Mazzino got away with that handball, I do not know. He said definitely directed the ball. Oh, don't tell me the stream's going to... Don't know what's happening here. Oh, don't tell me everything's just crashed on me.
but at the moment it's Scunthorpe on the bowl. But the computer is all... Oh, the computer's now gone on me. Come on, give me the stream. Come on. Oh, you're having a laugh. Yeah, we've lost total control now off the computer. It's time to get the crash on me. Come on. Oh, for God's sake. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, and, oh, unbelievable. What the hell? Oh, oh, oh you, you, you mother. F what the hell? Oh, uh, what, what, what? I don't know what's going on here with the computer. It's all going. Oh, no. Unbelievable. One minute watching the game, next the all crashes. Look, what is going on here? Just put the game back on. You're not wanted, whatever you're loading. Don't why you bloody advert. All right, can we have the football back on, please? What? Don't come with the not responding rubbish. Really good game. As we've had problems with the stream, now we're having trouble with the computer. It's just rolling around. What the f. Oh, what else is loaded up? Yeah, we worked out the page name was Sponding. Oh, God's sake. Well, we don't have a stream. I've absolutely got no control at the moment. This is a joke. Unbelievable. Good game on. Can't do nothing. Sorry for all my moaning and whinging. All we got is the page ain't responding. I don't know what to do here. I can't lose the stream. Why in the middle of the... In stream, does this have to happen? Stop. Go, right. oh, where's the task manager? Get lost, you no know, response. All right. All right, we got that back on. I'm not gonna. Go, what? What's going on here? Why you no response? That's great, that's the stream pretty much. Boy to the stream. Well, it's a good game. But we can't get, look, get lost. Oh, and once again, the stream is... I have absolutely no control. I hope we'll be back with some football once that no response goes away. I'm trying to keep... Honestly, I've lost everything. Oh, you... Yes! Close the program! Good idea, ain't it? That's sort of rolling around. There's an absolutely nothing. Not responding. Oh! Right. 
we shall be back with the game. We're back with the game. And it's now 1-1. Who scored for Oxford? I don't know. There could be a chance here for Oxford maybe to win this game. But the ball's now with Townsend. But he's lost it. And Drysdale has blown his whistle for something. Yeah, the stream's all back and it's healthy. 
So who scored? Who did score for Oxford? The goal scorer was... Oh, that didn't tell me much. <laughs> Ojo. Napa kicks it wide. On to the left for the Scunthorpe. Townsend. Plays it over. OJ. And Clark can't get hold of that. The goal score was Henry. 56 minutes from a penalty. The irony ain't it. Oh, Scunthorpe would. That's a bit unjust. A lot of Scunthorpe fans said he's he sort of handy the penalty to Scunthorpe which the referee didn't see and now he scored the equaliser well as he did better than Moet on on Sunday he scored he didn't miss and he's still on the pitch ooh come here what's a good save from Eastwood I thought the Scunthorpe left back just scored there McCarnell, oh they've lost it, here come Oxford, in the ascendancy, to Hen there's Henry, can Henry get to the ball first, Henry puts a crossing of, not much but he's got the ball again, Henry goes for goal, and it's a throw in the scunthal. We got two, one, three, three, one. Who? It's one, one at the moment. Ah, oh, it's a brilliant, brilliant save from Eastwood. Spreads himself just at the right moment as it comes off his leg. Now those Oxford fans are singing. Scunthorpe don't have the biggest away support in the land. Delican, middle of the park. Well done for Rothwell. Can he keep it in play? Can but Scunthorpe cleared up the pitch. Who's going to get there first? Uh, it looked like it's going to be Tony, but good defence from Oxford. We're up to 61 minutes. But Massinho, lucky, just got in front of Tony before he had a chance to score. Well, oh, Scunthorpe still playing with the same urgency. And Dwayne Holmes clattered there. And here comes, here comes Scunthorpe crossing the box. Oh, that goes all the way out. But it's, but Delican wins. A free kick just by the byline. There are definitely two teams in this second half. Very, very exciting match. Smith Brown conceding the foul there. It's going to be Morrison in a very dangerous area on the right side with this free kick. He plays his right, it could be 2-1. Can Scunthorpe retake the lead? And not like that, they won't. Long ball. Oh, off the post. Oh, a lovely first touch. Lovely curly ball, but just finds the top of the bar. Ooh, that would have been a nice goal indeed. This is a very good game here in League One. Akeem on the books was on the books of Palace and West Ham. Scunthorpe do sure know how to find some good players. And Wallace has put the ball out of play. Oxford with the throw in in a good position. If they can launch it into the box. 
and Kane to take it, the number 19 for Oxford. Can he get it straight in there? No, he can't. What's a beaker? Oh, let's send. He's got Kane, has he? Quell put it in. Good header. Let's him the. Oh, I thought Let's was going to take it then. But the ball's in the 12 yard box. Oh. Henry can't pick out a beaker and it's cleared. But the ball's still with Oxford. Oxford looking a lot better in this half. Oh, Beaker only hits a player. Oh, claiming and bowl again, Oxford. Beaker is a substitution as we did lose the game for a few minutes. Total frustration. We also missed the penalty. But it's, but it's a solid response in this second half by the boys in yellow. And here come Oxford again. Good ball played in on the left to the right side, but that is dealt by Scunthorpe. A free kick. Oh, Townsend can't believe it. The left back has given away a free kick and he's incensed. Was that for a boot up too high? So a free kick here. Maya Napa. His home debut is over. Isaac Buxley Ricketts. He's so good they named him three times. So, free kick for Oxford. <sighs> I would think in swinging to that right post and a header. And Henry's free kick just finds Matt Gilks. And he boots it out. You know what's Scunthorpe going to do? Oh, back to the keeper. And Eastwood boots it up the pitch. Eastwood, of course, at fault for the first goal, which Tony scored. His failure to hold on to the ball. Throw in to Scunthorpe. Been a very intriguing game, this. Smith Brown. Here goes the Baker. Oh, he's a nice little. But that's kicked back down the pitch. Anyone's game. Anyone's game. Middle of the park. A player played down the left, but that'll go all the way to Matt Jilks. He gathers with ease. Swinging. Well, with Scunthorpe middle on their left side. Playing the ball around. Delegan. Oh, Morris tried to go for a long, but it's falling to Townsend. So he's number six. Ojo plays it over to the lino. <laughs> Oh, Joe forgot that the linesman is not on his team. You know, different colours. The linesman's wearing black. That's not a handball. No, nah, it's not handball. Right, here go Oxford United coming up there. Uh, left side. No, going back down. And there's a Oxford player down just at the edge of the circle in their own half. On the on their right side. Hmm. And he's lost his boot. Ha <laughs> ha. 
and he's hobbling. So Henry's lost his boot. Score update. In the Manchester Derby in League One, it's Wigan 2, Oldham Athletic 0 after 49 minutes. No surprise there. I think Mill will also play Nottingham Forest. That was a kickoff at 1 o'clock. See if we can get all the scores up. I'm sure Co Opson will be hoping to get Oxford back into the first into the second division or second tier of English football be in the championship for the first time since nineteen eight nineteen ninety eight. Uh, Tony was offside hitting the side netting. No, Ivan Tony gets the yellow card for the centers. Uh, Monik Nil is coming on for the Scunthorpe. And Jordan Clark is the man making way. Because if you want to know why Scunthorpe were nicknamed it, the Iron Scunthorpe was famous for British steel. They're in kind of East Riding Humberside. It's Millwall 2, Nottingham Forest 0 after 51 minutes. And the Oval Forest Green has been postponed. And Dover Trenmere has been postponed. So 90 minutes gone. So Ricketts plays for the England under 17s, a Man City Loney. Back to Mac Jilt. Is there going to be a break for Scunthorpe? No, Oxford there first. Oh, that's not the best of clearances, but Oxford come away with it. Kane to Mersinio. Back to Kane, Rothwell, oh some good play here by as Rothwell plays it back, and lets and fires pretty much wide. <coughs> Hi there, how are you sir? Live I'll be back with Middlesbrough, we Wolves at 5.15. If I can set it all up, we can do Derby v Sunderland. Can't be as bad as when Sunderland played Derby. Never seen two teams display two of the worst kits in the league. Could be a chance Townsend. Can he get the bowling? Oh, good defending net from Oxford. That would be a corner to Scunthorpe. Townsend, a very good attacking left back. Six corners to Scunthorpe. Oh, can they make this corner count? As the rain, as the rain, rain keeps falling, in comes the corner. I don't know what that was, and nah, bad wind. Or did he just hit that too hard?
Because I suppose that stand, there is no stand there, it is a car park. So 60 minutes to go, just under. So the big fixture is Chelsea v Tottenham on Sunday. And Tuesday night, uh, Real Madrid and Juventus kick off their first leg in the last eight, the quarterfinals of the Champions League. And we've got other games coming up between then. Uh, thrown to Oxford. Ricketts not looking too bad. Bothwell, oh, he's lost it. Good, good change there from a beaker on the Yates. Now going down the right side. But Scunthorpe, they look to very assert in defence in the first half. They're not looking so assert, but they might be able to break here. Oh, Della can nearly put the ball through, but now it's now we're come Oxford. It's a bit end to end. That's pretty decent. Playing it over on that right side, headed away. Massinio to Rothwell through, and Letton only finds the keeper. Well, let's try to flick it around the corner to Beekson, but couldn't execute it properly and only managed to roll it through to the keeper. As it's now with Scunthorpe, Ojo. More the way the score says, Scunthorpe will still be two points behind Plymouth and Peterborough. And that's going to be a free kick to Scunthorpe. And that's a booking. And the Scunthorpe captain can't believe he's just been booked for that. Was that a booking? Oh, he took the player. That is definitely a booking for McArnold. Uh, the ball's well away as number 20 chests it away. Ow. Yeah. It's a bad challenge. A bigger felt that so Roy Mickey Arnold has got a book in the captain. I suppose gonna come in from the right to the left post. So here comes the ball. Is it gonna be? No, headed away. And it goes out for a throw in. Oxford's work rate has gone from maybe 10 to 15% to 100% in this second half. They've looked a lot better. And Josh Ruffle will be coming on. And Joe Rothwell will be coming off. Twelve minutes remaining. <laughs> so if I mean taking the substitution be made. Will Oxford get the three points? Ball over. And there'll be a free kick. A foul on the eights. The eights is a really decent defender. They've got a really decent player there, Scunthorpe. 
I think a lot of few these Scunthorpe players could easily make the move up to the championship. Good play. Down that left side, Scunthorpe. Nope, lost the ball. And no, giving the ball back. Middle of the park. Trying to go back down that left side. Yates and Monica McMill couldn't keep hold of it. Some nice challenges going in. Ball now with Oxford. And there'll be a throw in. Brannigan unable to keep the ball in play. And Tony's got the ball. Oh, he didn't find nobody in the 12 yard box except an Oxford player. Ball back with Eastwood, and here come Oxford again to start another attack. Rolling the ball up, rolling the ball up, and a long ball played to the centre defender of Scunthorpe. Ten minutes remaining, Scunthorpe better make another substitution eventually. Out on the left side now for Scunthorpe. Unable to go forward. We did miss the penalty. Defending a lot better here by Oxford. And is he going to take a shot? Delican over to the left. No cross coming in. Morris not putting a cross in. Delican takes to the byline, puts a cross in, and that goes in the arms of Eastwood. Needs a better movement there from Holmes. And there's Delican got cramp. Is he the man to come off? No, oh, it looks like it's going to be Dwayne Holmes making way. Hasn't had much of an impact in this second half as he did in the first half. And it is with Oxford there, but that is back with the keeper, Mac Jilks. So Monday, Oxford go to Shrewsbury. As ever, Shrewsbury are the shock side in this league. Kane, Beaker, Henry, can't find Kane. Good challenge by Townsend. Oh, that's a bad lose. Right in the middle of the park. It's a good ball out. Kane. Still going. Uh, Ricketts couldn't go, but I think he's won a corner. Eight listening in, how are you? Thanks for dropping by. As Oxford have a corner. Brannigan's going to take it from the left. In it comes. Oh. Smith Brown, Rossinho. Ledson and Henry only finds the keeper. I think what Henry should have done there was at least take a touch into space and then have a shot. But attempts 10 to Oxford, 18 to Scunthorpe. 
5 to Oxford, 8 to Scunthorpe. It's not been a bad game at all. It's been a decent game. Hopefully, I wonder what Midsborough and Wolverhampton the Wanderers can do to this evening at 5.15. Uh, oh, it's good tackling there by Scunthorpe. And the ball swept down the field. And that's headed out. And that'll be a throw into Scunthorpe. And I think a substitution's going to made. Six minutes to go. So Dwayne Armitage who had a superb first half. Non-existent in the second half. Lee, Lee Noakes. Do I pronounce the V? And McGeehan comes on. Number 26. McKeon was at Luton Town, moved to Barnsley. But he's now alone at Scunthorpe. It's Scunthorpe on the ball. A long ball played over. Is that going to get into the 12-yard box? No, it should be dealt with. Well, it's going to be better than that. The Morris. Luckily, it looks like Oxford might get escape. And they will. That was a poor header out by Oxford United. He's with a kick it long. All the way up the field. Header up. And now go all the way back to Matt Jukes. Keeper to keeper. Obviously he's going to boot it down the pitch. Injury time. Three minutes. But will there be a winner? Gives hope that Plymouth are goal with this point. Only three points behind. And the eights goes down. Ledson's already booked. And Ledson's got to be careful. Late tackle by Ledson on the eights. But he's not going to be booked. They've taken the free kick. Which way are they going to go? Halfway line going backwards, Scunthorpe. Nothing much happening here. Wallace plays it straight to the 12 yard box. Oh, couldn't link up with Townsend, and Oxford will clear the danger. Throwing the Scunthorpe inside their own area. I'm still sh With a big car park as the fourth stand. I don't think that car was someone's number plate to move their car. <laughs> this ground is in virtually the middle of nowhere. <laughs> As uh, Scunthorpe come forward. We well, do have a great passing style. Oh, ball whipped in. Headed out. Good defending. Warlocks will get there first. Out for a throw in. When you're saying go, Scunthorpe didn't take their chances in the first half. Should have had a penalty. Also should have had a penalty in the second half when Mossinio did handle the bowl and used his arm to direct the bowl away. And me 
Gear puts it over the head of Morrison in the 12 yard box. The question is how much injury time? Carl Robinson still believes Oxford can win this game. It's our one world, it's anyone's game, no matter how much injury time there's going to be. Header. I think Oxford will get to that ball first. They do. And that will be a throw in to the Oxford. Be a time waste in there by two players. And now here comes injury time. Taken long. Header. Messino, he's fouled. And McGeehan's going to get a book in, no doubt about that. Well, still don't know how much injury time is. McGeehan, ooh, a lovely stamp on the boot. Four minutes injury time. Same as the first half. I tell you, it's been an absolutely blinding game, this. Great advertisement for League One football. And that's offside. It's now Wigan 3, Oldham Athletic nil. It's good news for Oxford as they look like they've bagged a point. There'll be more goals conceded for Oldham Athletic. Good news for Northampton Town. As Eastwood boots the ball out. Scunthorpe first of the ball. Heads up. Another header. Wallace boots it down the pitch. Only finding... Uh, well, Dicky boots it up the put. Another long ball played. Should be dealt with by Scunthorpe when they take the throne, which Wallace looks like it was going to be him taking it. Heads up. Getting a bit scrappy now, this last bit of injury time. Oh, could this be a chance for Scunthorpe for Oxford United? And again, fired straight at the keeper. A beacon needed more power on that, the trouble with Jilks. As a long ball's played by Scunthorpe. And that's only going to go out for a throw in. To the Oxford. Are we going to get another decent game? Can we hit a hat trick of solid games tonight? As the afternoon game has been absolutely sensational, superb game. Absolute quality match between Oxford and Scunthorpe. I've got to say the second half has been a lot better than the first half. And it's very surprising that this has ended in a 1-1 draw. Still 2-0 at the new den. Mill will push in. For a late place in the playoffs. So it was a one last minute, a last twist, a last turn of events for these two teams to grab all three points. With well, the ball's down with Scunthorpe. Ojo. Shoot! And Morris shoots into the car park. Absolutely misses the target. Who was the man of the match today? Quite a few to choose from on both sides. I've got to say, Morrison's had an absolute blinding game for, for the Scunthorpe, but Henry for Oxford. He also scored the penalty that I haven't seen. Can there be one last effort? Doesn't look like it. Game nearly over. 
Or that's the game over. Good result for uh, Oxford United. A point in the bag and 3-0 down are the might of poor old Oldham against unstoppable Oxford. Unstoppable Wigan Athletic. So it's all here and there in League One. We'll be back with the Championship later. Thank you very much and have a great afternoon for now.